Invigorated by the prospect of attaining immortality with the Dragon Balls, the two Saiyans made their way to Earth. And that is why I brought him here as he is, to be trained further. Therefore, if it is agreeable to you, King Yama, I humbly ask that you allow him to meet with King Kai. Hmm, I see. So you intend to take this heaven-bound soul and subject him to the grueling 625,000 mile long snake way so he can meet King Kai. Indeed. Very well. If you wish to see King Kai, then I suggest you be on your way. However, I should warn you that no one has ever, ever made it successfully, other than myself, of course, in over 100 million years. Must be one heck of a journey. I better get started. By the way, did a guy named Raditz come through here? Yes, we've got him marked down for hell, of course. Did he put up much of a fight? <laughs> he sure did. He definitely didn't go quietly, but I sorted him out. Whoa, you must be one heck of a strong guy. So, you were sent along with him, huh? I am the great King Yemma. I occupy a position above that of the Earth's Guardian. Do you know what that means? That means you're crazy strong, right? You don't seem to understand what I'm saying. Of course I'm strong! But it's not just my strength that serves me in this position. You need brains to do this kind of managerial work. Mana... mana what work? Now then, to help you better understand my work, let's give you a little quiz. Uh, well, um, actually kind of in a hurry. Well then, if that's going to be your attitude, then I guess you don't need to see King Kai. Oh, what? No way! Okay, okay, I'll take the quiz. Why didn't you say that from the beginning? Anyway, let's begin. I'll let you through if you can answer all of my questions correctly. That's right. He made a mess of enough planets to earn himself a place in hell. In fact, he's one of the biggest pains we've ever had to deal with. Right, next question. Correct, of course I am. I am much more powerful. Isn't that right, Kami? Ah, yes, King Yama. You are more powerful. Right. Next question. That's right. No matter where they're from, all who die come here. Like your brother. He wasn't an Earthling. Next question. Not bad. That's correct. Those pesky Dragon Balls are indeed how you do it. I hate those things. It's like my job doesn't even matter. Who created those blasted balls anyway? Care to shed some light on that, Kami? Oh, uh, King Yama, I... <sighs> Whatever. Moving on. That's correct. Woohoo! Huh? Uh, 
Forgive me, but I do believe that was the fifth question. Really? Um, one, two, three. Hmm. Of course it was, I. I was just testing you. And you passed the test. Well, that was the true fifth question. There's that trademark denial of his. Hmm. I heard that, Kami. Maybe I'll send you to hell when it's your time. Oh, please forgive me, your highness. Boy, he's got one hell of a sense of hearing. <laughs> oh, you think you're some sort of funny man. Hm. That's enough of all this. I will allow you to see King Kai. Wow, really? Thanks a bunch, Mr. Yemma. Don't tell me you've forgotten who you're talking to. No, 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 Mr. I'm King Yemma. I haven't. <laughs> That's more like it. If you're going to see King Kai, then go. Well, this is where we part ways. Good luck, Goku. Thanks. I'm not really sure what to expect, but I'm pumped to meet this King Kai guy. Time to wake up, kid. You've slept long enough. Huh? Who... Who are you? Listen up. Time for a reality check. Your daddy is dead, okay? He sacrificed himself to kill the man who kidnapped you, in case you forgot. If his friends are vigilant and able to find the Dragon Balls, they can bring him back. However, we've got other things to deal with. Though we were able to defeat Raditz, it sounds like we've got two of his buddies to worry about a year from now. If that's really the case, your father and I probably aren't going to be enough to take these guys down. We need power. Your power. You're going to have to learn to fight and defend the Earth. Gohan's Crash Course in Survival. But... I... I... I I'm no... I'm no good at fighting! Quit your whining! Once I'm done whipping you into shape, you'll be tough enough for anything. Got it? So, y you're gonna train me? Okay, what do I have to do? You have to live out here on your own, without distraction. I'm giving you six months. If you're able to survive for that long, I'll teach you how to fight. See ya. Huh?
Little twerp. Didn't go and get himself killed already, did he? If the little brat dies here, then that's all he'd ever amount to. A little brat. Now then, time to check on that little rug rat. Hopefully throwing him to the wolves toughened him up. I'm hungry. I'm so hungry! Little brat. We still don't have what it takes to fight the Saiyans. His latent power is our only shot. <laughs> Fine. Just this once, I'll throw him a bone. Looks like there's only apples to eat around here. Oh well. this place? One's probably not enough. Huh. All right, this is all he's getting. This kid's proving to be a real pain in my neck. No 
There won't be any Earth to protect if this keeps up. We Saiyans release our true power whenever there's a full moon. Even chumps like you should know that. That's right, the full moon! Imagine a kid had such a transformation in him. Must be a Saiyan blood. Looks like he needs a full moon and that tail of his to transform. Better get rid of it now. Now that that's taken care of, here's some clothes and a sword. I've got my own training to get to, so you're on your own again. If you can somehow manage to survive the next six months, then you will have earned the honor of being trained by the great Piccolo. You're gonna wish you'd never been born when I'm done with you. Hope you're ready. <laughs> 